Chris Cornell, Boris and Miss Oatmeal, let us pray. Dear Lord, I can't believe some of the people that are in this world. I just can't believe it. Forgive us our sins. We acknowledge your son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Okay, people. By popular demand, I'm doing the video about Boris and Miss Oatmeal. Maybe I should lip sync with the, with the sock the whole time. I, I don't know. But yes, in case you haven't heard, and I couldn't believe when I heard about it. Um, Mike Shinoda did a song called Ghosts. And he had the brilliant idea, or someone did, of taking a couple sock puppets and lip syncing the song with the sock puppet. Um, and I noticed in the beginning of the video, he says something like, you know, if you wake up in a good mood and you want to have fun or something, you, know, you shouldn't feel bad about that. But here's what I feel bad about. We went from a brilliant master singer named Chester Bennington to a jagoff, half-assed thug lip-syncing shitty songs with a sock puppet or two. So in his honor, I made my own. Unbelievable. Anyway, let me show you. Wait till you see this. Oh, I can't even press on my iPad because of the sock. All right, here's a picture. And notice the one that appears to have glasses on it. What does that look like to you? It looks like a six, a six, and a six. You see that? That little curved nose part, that could be a six too. Does that surprise you? It doesn't surprise me, except how blatant it is. And then you look at the two other eyes, they kind of look like sixes too. And then the curved lines inside the eyes look like sixes as well, or at least the far inside one does. What a coincidence. That's going to be a little theme today. You're going to see another 666 on something else I'm going to present later. But I literally could not believe it when I heard on live stream my people told me about this sock puppet thing. I've heard some of the Concert goers have dressed up like socks. Um, I heard they had socks on their hands. So what I'm saying is, again, we went from the brilliant master singer, Chester Bennington, to this bullshit. Can you fucking believe it? Because I can't. Oh my God, what a joke this is. But let me show you. The reason I showed you that picture is because he's literally selling these socks for people to buy. And oh my God, what a sad ass you must be to buy this shit. And to take it seriously whatsoever. And another thought I had was, the song is, is trying to make some emotional statement, yet it's being lip-synced to by sock puppets. That was the big idea. And he has a bunch of other shitty merchandise, some uh, graphic pencils, some shitty-looking hats, some disgustingly ugly flip-flops right there. 
skateboard decks, colored pencils. Are you kidding me with this bullshit? And another thought I had when I first heard about this sock puppet shit was it's like some some creepy Mr. Rogers bullshit. Uh, I guess he's trying to market to like, you know, younger kids now. But I heard the song, the song's ass. Um, the people in the comment section for the song, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But uh, whenever you have an artist like this, um, you get a lot of comments in the comment section that um, they may have been given some incentive to make those comments. I couldn't believe some of the stuff I read. But yes, people, this is what we're left with in this shite example of a world. Fucking Mike Shinoda doing songs where he lip syncs with a sock puppet to the song. And even better than that, like I said, on a sock puppet, for your hand has a 666 on it. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't that make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside? It does to me. That's what it does for me. But anyway, I want to say one more thing too. People, please don't neglect the PayPal. Don't treat it like a red-headed stepchild. Caress the PayPal. Love it. Show it kindness and tenderness so we can keep this thing going and we can talk about wonderful things like this anyway peace be ever with thee